and that Ness we were speaking on in the matchup. Mono e mono, no items, stage hazards. Wait, off. we're not doing hot. We're not doing <laughs> items at all. Nah, nah. I mean, the item turn. There's no Diddy Kong I'm joining in here. that one. No Diddy Kong. <laughs> Only Pokeballs. Oh, only but Krom balls. gets to it right off the rip, and Get he hasn't missed a shot. Oh, and Iggy just surprised by the absolute barrage of Sword. Wait, so we've seen zero to deaths in both of our sets so far. Hey, it's, it's Let's gonna... keep the streak going, Vegas. How much zero to deaths can Maybe we Maybe we should start doing button checks. I don't know. In consecutive. <laughs> Man, a clean opening from Armo, though. Going to be a... Huge mountain for Iggy to climb up with that full stock lead Armo has now under his grasp. You saw there as he like just thought that maybe Iggy would be aggressing, he instantly goes for that up B because the armor on it is so good. Yeah, and Armo also just does the movement very well with it. It has a little bit of drift that yeah. you can start to abuse and always starts to find exactly where he wants to be with that up B and has the uh, super armor, like you're saying, to negate some of the is pressure he, that he finds himself under. Is it going to catch the two frame, though? Armo looking forward again here, probably. Not necessarily a re-grab, but that happens to me You have to have those. The time. Yeah, it, it's really important to have a counter in this iteration of ultimate for that ledge trap. Gonna go ahead and get that back here, but not gonna do it. The hit is gonna save him. Yeah, honestly, gave him a bit. That's gonna get him out of the fire a lot of the times, too, so Iggy's definitely got it stacked up for him here. Yeah, might even elect to go to Kazuya if he ends up oh, I love that idea. three stocks here, just because of the uh, a super armor battle that we can find ourselves in. And I mean, we have the PK Thunder here, but the lightnings that you can bring out on the Kazuya to start to bring some in immobility to the kits and the movement of What's he do? this Armo would be very impressive. But a Nair to catch the jump off the ledge will be the stock number one for Dr. Iggy. Okay, now he's gonna try to get into some combo stuff because he knows he's got a long road ahead of him. This is that second PK fire on the combo, but does get a little bit of uh, advantage here, at least in stamina. Make it back to the ledge, Armo approaching, kind of using the fake out tactic there, but Iggy smelling it. Iggy finding himself in a great momentum, Woo! honestly, and, and just like that, for the fences. brings back what was a zero to death, and honestly, kind of makes his little bit of his own, only taking minuscule amounts of harassment from Armo in that second stock. So great job here, oh. going to dodge out on the counter, but it gets the Whoa. spike. Oh, talk about drag down. That was amazing. Uh, Iggy definitely started to bring that one back, and it was only on the back of Armo getting just that little bit of stamina. And, ooh, that's just the first round. Yeah, it definitely feels bad when you so close to bringing that back. That was fun, though. Not DIing in. You got to be able to grab that ledge mm -hmm. when getting that drag down. So going to be a chance for Iggy to respond here on game two. Definitely the emotions running high. And Iggy, man, I think they know we are in the Hyper X arena right now. Showing the branding. Mm -hmm. Let them know. Mm -hmm. Cloud Alpha headset, ready to go. And I think, uh, you know, it is, it, I'm not going to lie, it is a, that is a tough loss to take there as he was bringing that one back. But you have to keep your emotions in check. Here. Yeah, that's the thing that separates the, the, the toppest, toppest of players from I never seen Sonics do that. Are, they, yeah, I mean, I honestly haven't seen Sonics pop off about I anything. Seen that, his eyes kind of <laughs> smiled as he held up the CEO belt, but like, kind of. It still doesn't even look like the man cheesing under the mask. Yeah, I he's mean, a robot. We all know. I mean, somebody could. could Dr. Possibly, Robotnik could. made Sonics, and then I'm on to something there, folks. Whoa, bro. Hey, yo, knock yo, down 42. Is this Charlie Day in its own? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking for all Bro, the, the red line was crazy. I was following you. Hey, I was, I was almost there, too. Yo, FBI just sent you a text like, hey, we need, we need you I to. I think a little vibration in my pocket. We need right. you to be quiet. That was weird. It's not the time. Let me check this. Bring, can't sure. bring that count out of the bag yet. Sure. We're not supposed to assimilate the AIs into the people yet. Okay. But we are here. We're back into it with the Krom again versus this Ness. Not going to elect to go the to the The most Kazuya. important thing here is to use that emotion. Use the emotion. If you can use it, it's going to help you. The drag down. Now see. Okay. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, he's locked. You tech after, those? Yeah, after that one, if you tech those, you're locked. Here he goes. String of up airs. He's gonna follow him with that PK lightning. Neutral. He is logged in, folks. But guess what? That move, kinda broken. <laughs> going to have a response always with that up B, but the yo-yo there going to be a nice option for Dr. Iggy to start to get the final blows ready in line, still lining up those though. final dominoes, but like Armo. Armo's hit him four times, it's still even. Getting killed right here, and uh, kind of playing chess right now. Armo knows he's in his head, right? But Iggy just has to has to do the Gohan, has to use the emotion. Right, there's players that thrive off beating players on two. I remember, I think Wadi was the one that was talking about it in bracket, like, uh, during the CEO interviews. Like, I just, I thrive off tilt. Like, I'm not yeah. even better than most of these players, right. but, man, but if you're tilted, Rob, yeah. if you're tilted, I'm about to get up in them cheeks. <laughs> okay. Just has to create a little bit of an opening here. Armo has him all the way where he wants him. And uh, he's going to reset here, but he's going to be reeling after that one. See him down. At least he does have his opponent at 130. Definitely one match there away, like we said, from Look at him right back into the screen, locked. I mean, after taking the zero to death and bringing it back, anything's possible exactly. with this matchup. You know how volatile it is, uh, and, especially and with I the lack of a recovery from Kron. Yeah, and I wouldn't even say that Armo's like necessarily on paper for him. It's just you got to keep your emotions in check. I mean, we literally look on paper at the most recent PR. He's not, so. Uh, you're not you're not wrong to say that, but we'll see if he's able to make a case for himself here today. I mean, already starting out with a very convincing stock two here, catching Iggy at most places he'd like to, and is now going to sit with this ledge trap situation into the edge guard. The trap, to say the least. I like that. That's very reminiscent of Freddy. Has to know that he's got the advantage here. Playing a character like Ness just has to put the right inputs in. Very good back air. So good right there at the center of stage is where you want to do it. But the response from Armo is hard. Bread and butter coming out and paying dividends there to equalize the game out here. This is the final stock for Dr. Iggy here in winner's round three. And Armo does have three more in the bag just in case he needs to bring this to his own counter pick. But going to eat a Great down throw. Grab. Down throw, forward air, forward air. Man, Armo is just using that up e when he needs it to the armor. He's gonna... All right, so the emotion definitely uh, cool, calm, and collected, and uh, you can see a breath of fresh air from him there. Yeah, it gets to know that it's all good. We can sit here and play to my strengths and know that it's going to all matriculate for me in this bracket as long as I stay cool and collected here moving forward. And I'm sure they got a brand new headset because this is HyperX Arena. We got those things lying around. Got a couple. Got a few. Matter of fact, let me just break this one. Let me go get this. Let me just get one. Got ourselves the Krom Ness again, though. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, like we said, Iggy's ball to play with now. I mean, he's kind of got the serve. It's his advantage because of yeah, the fact he, was definitely playing he brought ball that momentum right there. really back, man. Especially the PK fire now into F Smash has worked two times there at the ledge. So you got to be so careful playing at the sides of the stage as Armo. And uh, Armo gets hit there, but is able to just jump it up. But Iggy's got him definitely right where he wants him right now. Armo playing into it at this point. That gets also the PK fire. Oh, I got you right where I want you. Yo-Yo is going to be shielded. But oh, since his stamina is so high, the knockback actually saves him, honestly. He's not going to get that final connection of the hit, but 131% before it has started to be answered on upon by Armo in a quick 50% racked up Lucky DPS. Lucky to get the trade there. Armo was definitely working on something fun. Iggy still at him off ledge, not letting him breathe off ledge. Yeah, playing a little bit of a campy uh, nest that actually pays off here in stock one is going to be able to get 64% lead, honestly, on the second stock. But Armo looking to put a nail in that lead very quickly here. Forward smash and fairward air is connecting time and time again, but not getting the stock quite yet. 99% on the menu, but how will he be able to get this final blow? He was trying blow? to do some lab stuff right there, but just off an input or two. It's 
back to stage. And yeah, you, you spoke on it perfectly. Armo definitely feels like he has a little bit of momentum here, but he's just finding it and catching him slipping on the counter. He's looking for this kind of jump back up even. Oh, that's it. Gets it again. Gets that drag Ooh, down again that sent him earlier. Maybe that'll kind of re-spark the emotion. Yeah, a little bit of PTSD coming out maybe on the track. A little PTSD on the track. Won't let him out. Won't let him out. Won't let him out. Let him out. Come on, bro. Here we go. Iggy, Iggy definitely has the momentum here. It's just, can Armo get one or two hits to go his way? Maybe... Look for a little cheese on the track down again. Ooh. Those are the crits that you want to be hearing coming out on this Kron. Mm -hmm. He's got all of his hitboxes exactly where he wants them. Spot dodge on the Nair, but a second one to come right out. Pushback nice from tilt. the PK Thunder, but Armo so expert in returning to the stage until you get him like that. Then he puts the work in. It, it needs to happen right now if it's gonna happen for Armo and kind of backs off on that one. Just had it. Just gave it all he could until he, you know, he like walked up to the 10 stair and then backed up. Yeah, I liked, I liked the mix up. It definitely seemed like it was going to uh, be in his favor if it could have connected, but that little bit of a gamble when you don't go for the bread and butter opportunities. Um, it does, you know, start to slip away, and Iggy capitalized on it perfectly, you know, does have 73% now on this final stock of Armo here in the winner's round three, going to have an opportunity, Ooh. but the F tilt going to call Good Iggy out on that jump. That F air will be enough to take the stock, and we're sitting 1-1 one, one here. Both of these cats are fighting for their winner's side. Yep, and now Armo's gonna get schmoovin' a little bit. Starts to hit some shots, and that back air is gonna do just enough damage to get him off. Up B is clean and clear, but now Armo has a mountain to climb. Got the down Got the crowd tilt. cheering for him, though. Yeah, the, not the smash in-game crowd. We're talking about the IRL here in the HyperX, rooting for Armo here in the final moments, trying to get this nest to eat some of these hits of the blade, but going to be difficult here. Nice little oh, bit of PK he Thunder. It. That's back air, that's dead. Back foe, if you will, because it's so iconic of him, is going to get the win here for Dr. Iggy. The emotion. Motion in, in defeat and also here in the win as he brought that back on the reverse 2-0. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you have to use that emotion, and Iggy does it perfectly, in my opinion. It's very hard to come back from that game one, but he knows he dropped that zero to death, so that's the only difference in those three games, and that first one being that zero to death. So as